Hello everyone, my name is Xu Yang. Today I will introduce my work, Accelerated WGAN Update Strategy with Loss Change Rate Balancing. Our work is to accelerate the convergence speed and uh, improve the performance of WGAN related loss gain. Here we give an example of comparison of the franchise inception distance for WGAN and the proposed adaptive WGAN on the CFART dataset. As we can see, the green curve, which is the adaptive WGAN, descends faster and reaches the lower FID, compared with the blue curve, which represents the original WGAN. Let's first talk about the GAN training problem. If G and D have enough capacity, the discriminator is allowed to reach its optimum given G. However, optimizing D to completion in the inner loop of training is computationally prohibited. An unfinished data sets would result in overfitting. Instead, people alternate between k steps of optimizing D and one step of optimizing G. But does there exist redundant discriminator updating during the GANs training? And can we find a way to avoid those unnecessary updating? There are some related work to solve this problem. TTUR try to set up different learning rates for G and D. Gradient penalty at a penalty on the squared norm of the gradients of the discriminator. Unbalance the GAN pre train the generator at first and then train the entire GAN model. However, they still alternatively update G and D. We are the first one to focus on adaptively updating the G and D in order to reduce the redundant G or D updating. In this paper, we propose the adaptive update strategy for a variety of WGAN that can combine with existing methods. Our proposed adaptive strategy reaches uh, local convergence for derived GAN, and we demonstrate our method can fast, have faster convergence and better performance in a variety of WGAN. Next, let's talk about the detail of our proposed uh, approach. We use the same definition of WGAN loss function. The loss change rate is the absolute of current step loss minus previous step loss and then divided by previous step loss. The goal of our adaptive update strategy is to select which component to update in each iteration during training and use prepared knowledge to influence the selection. For example, give preference to, to G. Generally, we compute the loss change rate of generator RG and the loss change rate of discriminator RD. And then, if RD larger than lambda multiply RG, we update discriminator. Otherwise, we update the generator. The motivation is that a larger loss change rate of one component means that this component is in greater need for update. Next, we demonstrate our method can reach the local convergence for direct gain. The direct gain consists of a generator a distribution and a linear discriminator. The true data distribution is given by a direct distribution concentrated at 1. Here we give the generator and the discriminator parameters update the rule. We define the initial point is 1.5, 0 0.5, and the convergence point should be 1 and 0. As we can see in figure 2, the original WGAN will be in the infinite loop. However, with our adaptive update, we can reach the, the local convergence. We did evaluation on several datasets, and on image synthesis task, we compare with WGAN, WGAN GP, unbalanced GAN, TDUR, gradient penalty. On image deep blur task, we compared with deep blur GAN. On super resolution task, we compare with super resolution WGAN. Our method can converge faster and get a better performance. Please see the detailed evaluations in the paper. In conclusion, uh, our adaptive WGAN training strategy can automatically determine the sequence of generator and discriminator training steps. Our method based on the a loss change rate of generator and discriminator with an elastic hyperparameter lambda. And our experimental evaluation results shows that the proposed adaptive training scheme normally converges faster and to a lower minimum. Thanks.